somebody may be trying to keep you down, but you got to remember to give God praise so that God can bring you up. He is the one who sets down one and sets up another. Look at your neighbor and tell him, praise him. You were created to praise him, not just on a Sunday morning when you walk inside of a building, not just when an organ gets striked up, not just when a keyboard begins to play, not just when drums begin to beat. That's not what praise is limited to. Praise is about a lifestyle of reverence unto God. It says, I acknowledge him in everything I do. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 say, trust in him him with all of your heart lean not unto your own understanding but in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths the harvest is plenteous but the problem is there were not enough laborers Jesus said and so what he does then is he's offering them a solution he said here's how you get what you need look at your neighbor and tell him there's a strategy to getting what you need from God and the first thing to do is you've got to learn to pray he said pray unto the Lord of the harvest that he will send laborers he gives them the problem he gives them the solution and the first solution here is to pray look at your neighbor tell him you got to learn how to pray we find ourselves in the word of God when I go back to the Old Testament and I think about uh, the life of Leah and Rachel two sisters who basically didn't look quite the same but we find that there was a young man Jacob who had his eye on Rachel but her daddy wanted to give Leah to her to him first he never did want Jacob to take Rachel but all of a sudden he's got to work so that he can get Rachel and he finds out after working thinking he's getting Rachel that he's really working just to get Leah the Bible calls Leah tender eyed or she was cross eyed she didn't look like what he wanted her to look like but I want you to understand something about God one of the things that God does for us is he oftentimes will present to us what he needs for us or what he wants for us to have but the problem is we don't always want what God wants for us because it's not attractive to us that job is not attractive to us staying in that situation is not attractive to us and so we want to jump up out of it I come to offer you a solution to your problem the first thing is to pray but Leah was cross-eyed she wasn't attractive she wasn't cute nobody wants the girl who is loose-eyed or cross-eyed and so Jacob did not want her he wanted to back up from her but her daddy said no keep on working and I'm gonna give you both of them you're gonna end up with two for the price of one but I want you to understand this Rachel is the one that Jacob wanted he was her desire Leah was God's plan look at your neighbor and tell him when you fall in love with God's plan then you can get your plan look at your neighbor and tell him you might not like what God's got but if you learn to get in bed with what God wants then God will let you lay up with what you want look at your neighbor and tell him you got to go after what God planned for your life Leah was a part of the plan because there were sons that had to be born to Jacob and Leah was the mother of some of those sons look at your neighbor tell him something Something in your life that God's trying to produce is contingent upon you falling in love with God's plan for your life. It ain't comfortable. It's not convenient. It's not attractive. But it is God. And if you can ever get in line with what God wants, look at your neighbor. Tell him then you can get what you want. You want what you want? You can put it out there because if you delight yourself in the Lord, he will give you the desires of your heart. But in the meantime, look at your neighbor. Tell him you got to walk out God's plan in the meantime you got to do it God's way part of our frustration is we're trying to get what we want before giving God what he wants some of us need to go back to the altar and just say God what do you want I'm not getting what I want obviously until I give you what you want look at your neighbor and tell him give him what he wants you were custom made for praise and the one thing that you know he wants is your praise that's not just a clapping of your hands that's an alignment of your spirit with his will and purpose for your life look at your neighbor and tell him you are not gonna get his stuff when you are not in line with his purpose sometimes we sit over here when God wants us to sit over here and you're looking for what you want over here but what God's gonna give you is over here when you learn to align with his will look at your neighbor and tell him get up out of your own flesh get out of your will and line your life up with the word of God so you can get the desires of your heart look at somebody near you and tell them for me tell them I was created 
to give God glory. 